Hey guys, Cheryl Fuller here with Spiritual Weld. How's everybody doing? How's everybody been? I am so excited to share with you what happened last week, but before um, we get to that, I, I wanted to let you know what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about liabilities and assets. We're going to be talking about emotional liabilities and emotional assets. We're going to be discussing how important those are in your life and how we can better those and, and disengage when... Uh, when things aren't uh, an asset in our life. But first, let's get to it. So last week, I did stick to my goals. I did uh, I did write in my journal. I did write in my all my things in Reddit. And then I also uh, did work out. I worked out for a minute one day, a minute 11 seconds the next day, and then a minute and I think almost two minutes the next day. So those are baby steps. I know that's not a lot, but guess what? It's moving forward, and that's basically all we need to do. I have it right there. I moved it from that room and that room to make it basically easy access, and so I'll just continue to go on from there, and maybe by the new, the end of the year, by, by the beginning of the new year, I will be up to my mile. All right, guys, or maybe even doing some other exercise. All right, so one of my affirmations and one thing that I wanted to share with you guys was um, writing it down. It is amazing to write down just the 55 times 5 was a, a little excessive for me But what I found out and I wanted to share with you really quick was this this affirmation It worked perfectly 10 times on the back. So I highly suggest you do that um, But however, this is my affirmation uh, for the day I love and appreciate how awesome it feels to be making money by doing uh, by being me So that's awesome. And of course one more this sets up on my computer and I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm always creating an abundant lifestyle full of plenty of everything with family, love, and fun. Thank you, everyone. All right, guys, so let's get to it. So emotional assets and emotional liabilities, what does that mean? Basically, that means when you have a thought in your mind about a person, place, or thing, or whatever, even an object, an old house, an old lover, or whatever, if that is not making you feel good inside, then it's a liability. If it's making you feel good, it's an asset. So that boils down to just your thought. It doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. It's all about you and your thought. Okay, so um, if something does keep coming up, coming up, coming up, what else do I need to be shown here? Ask that. What else do I need to be shown here? And also always ask yourself this. Is this an emotional liability or emotional asset? Because not only is it your emotional liabilities and emotional assets, it's your family members around you that will also be um, cashing in on those as well are cashing out. All right, so one thing to remember, if somebody pisses you off, you could turn that, could be a liability, but you can turn that into an asset. For instance, my dad, um, when we'd be, uh, we'd be writing, uh, well, when the, the, the quad came out where you had to, it was like the four, it was the 250, and you had to uh, use the clutch to wind it out. Well, I was young, and I would kill it, and then my dad had to come back and get me. Well, my dad, I don't remember what he said or what he did, but he pissed me off. He pissed me off so bad but it turned into being an asset for me because guess what? He pissed me off so bad. I kicked over that. I kicked over that bitch. I started it and I never killed it again. Not for the rest of the remainder of the time that I wrote it for the rest of the remainder of the time we owned it. So that was where I used being pissed off into, into, and I know it's Sunday, but anyways, <laughs> I'm forgiven. Don't worry. All right. So if something pisses you off and you can turn that into an asset, so for instance, if you're at work and your boss is like, you know, he's on you, he's, he's what? He's on you, he wants more production, he wants you to be faster, he wants more this, he wants more that. What does it do? It can piss you off and turn into an asset. So then what do you do? It peaks you out, it makes you just like a trainer. Peaks you out, it makes you do the best that you ever do to where you're like, impress yourself. Or it could be the moment where it comes an emotional liability to where it's, it's tearing you down. Uh, furthermore, I wanna get into leveling. That is basically where, have you ever been in a really high high vibrational peak, you're really happy, somebody comes along not so happy and they try to level you down by whatever they discuss with you or whatever they say. If regarding, they could be saying something about their own life or they want you to respond, they wanna kinda level you down or they wanna like level you down by um, just kinda deflecting what you're doing and kind of downing what you're doing, kind of like uh, that would be leveling. That basically they're intimidated by your vibration they're intimidated by, by your by where you're at and they they can't handle it so they have to lower it 
So with that being said, don't allow them to lower it and you can ask yourself right then and there, is this an emotional liability or emotional asset? If you do not have to be in discussion with that person, disengage with that and, and move on and let it go. If you need to learn something from it, ask, learn and grow and go. But anyways, all right guys, I'm, I'm super excited about this. I believe that um, our emotional assets are our livelihoods. They're what create our life. They're what create our lives with our family, with our loved ones, with everybody else around us. So it is, is crucial and very important. So this was a very um, crucial video for me to do. And I hope you guys take it and run with it and know, um, know when to, uh, you know, just let it go, let it go. And if it's, if people, places, things are becoming too much of an emo emotional liability, disengage. Do not chase anybody. Do not, um, if people don't text you back or whatever, disengage. You don't, you don't, you don't have to put yourself in that position. That is an emotional liability and you need to disengage with that and go on to assets. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Peace out. Show fuller spiritual wealth. Have an awesome day. Happy Sunday fun day.